What up guys? We're in Shinkobe Station and we are heading to Arima Onsen, Arima Hot Spring, which is one of the most famous hot springs in all of Japan, so definitely check it out. Uh, it's top three. Wait, top three is what? Kusatsu? Kusatsu and Gero Onsen. So we already actually went to all those. Kusatsu in Guma, Gero's in... Gero's in... Gifu. Gero's in Gifu maybe? And um, yeah, so we'll see you guys at Arima Onsen. Yeah, June. Go June. Go June. June just set up to stand here. Alright guys, so we're here in Arima Onsen or Arima Hot Spring Town and uh, this place is one of the top three hot springs in all of Japan. And there's actually two sources of water that spring out of various spots here in this Arima Onsen town. One of the waters is called Kinsen or gold water and it's a colored brown with iron deposits and it's said to be good for skin ailments and muscle pain. The other is the clear Ginsen or silver water and it's said to contain radium and carbonate and it's said to cure various muscle and joint ailments. So, there's many ryokan or Japanese style inns that you can go to here that, that offer visitors uh, can go in for a set free um, or there's also public baths here that you can also go into and uh, those are not hotels, those are just simply the onsen, the hot spring right there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check one out. Uh, we probably can't take a video inside so you'll basically hear our reaction um, after we come out of the hot spring. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to be feeling kind of lethargic and kind of tired after I get out so excuse me for that. But uh, let's go ahead and check it out and we'll see you there. Taekwondo Yu Hotel, let's go. Taekwondo Yu Hotel this way. Whoa, Taekwondo Yu. So it looks like definitely no tattoos allowed here. That's ready the second sign. Wow, that's a nice entrance. All right, this is where we're going to enter the bath, so let's go inside. We just got out of the hot spring. It felt so good. We're at this uh, Japanese style inn called um, Taiko, Taiko no Yu. And uh, it's really, really popular, supposedly. Um, it's kind of famous as well. Uh, this specific place holds both the waters that I talked about before. They hold the Ginsa, Ginsen and the Kinsen, so the gold water and the silver water. Um, the gold water was actually really, really brown. Like, it looked kind of rusty, to be honest, but it felt really good. Um, and, like, I happened to taste it a little bit because it got into my mouth. And uh, it didn't taste the best. It felt very uh, chemically, but at the same time, it felt really good as well. Like, it was so relaxing. Um, there's also, so basically, the inside, there's the gold side and there's the silver side. Um, there's like two big ones, and then you can go outside, and the outside has like five, four, or five different ones. Um, they're a lot smaller, uh, but the outside ones are really nice because you get the nice breeze outside plus the hot water. So that was really relaxing. There's also a sauna, and the sauna had, was like, it's like fragrance, so it felt absolutely crazily good. Um, it does like a nice dim light. It, it, it's, it was an amazing experience and um, right now we are going to get some food because we're starving. Um, so this place offers so much. There's a food court, there's everything. There's a restaurant, there's onsen, there's hot springs. So you can literally spend a whole day here, um, which is why it was about 2400 per person uh, to enter and you get full access all day for the hot springs and everything. So. Um, you get these wristbands, so basically you don't carry your wallet around, you scan this barcode and uh, it basically charges your credit card or your, your account automatically after, and then you leave and you pay everything. So, really convenient, um, really loving it here, and let's go get some food. Everything looks good now, huh? Everything looks so good. I know. So Alright guys, we're in the food court right now, and uh, these tables are actually really, really cute. Like, look at them, like, look at that stuff. So basically, um, I don't know, there's like a hole you put your feet, and there's a table, and um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I got a Hide Katsukare. She got, what'd you get? She got a roast katsu don. So we basically both, both got tonkatsu, chicken cutlet, pork cutlet kind of thing. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I can't wait to eat because I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten all day. Did I eat all day? I know I didn't. I had some convenient store food, but yeah. <laughs> what up guys? So we got some ice cream. I got vanilla, what'd you get? Uh, Arima Cider. So Arima is the place we're at, and cider is like soda. Soda, so Arima Soda ice cream. Soda ice taste cream. It, taste it, taste it. What does it taste like? Like mm, Sprite? It's like sorbet. Like sorbet? Mm. It's like vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright guys, so that was Arima Onsen, Arima Hot Spring, and now we're gonna go to the Chinatown. So we're gonna show you guys little Chinese food and Chinese areas. Let's go. I'm so excited because I used to go there a lot, so I'm really excited to go back. Chinatown map, baby. Chinatown map. What up guys? We're here in Chinatown here in uh Shogun Prefecture. I'm standing next to my friendly lion who looks very angry. Anyways, uh, we're gonna explore a little around Chinatown, get some food. Um, I think this is the second biggest Chinatown in all of Japan. Uh, Yokohama in, uh, in near Tokyo is the number one biggest area. So, but this is a really kind of cool experience to to experience Chinese culture, I guess, in Japan. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, there's a lot of good Chinese restaurants here. So let's take a look and uh, let's go ahead and eat our stomachs away. Let's go. Dang, Chinese food from Beijing. Look at that food, that looks so good. Oh man. So I'm Year of the Horse, so that's my statue. They've got all these statues around here. That's me. Put a like on this video if you're Year of the Horse. Yeah! Chinese food for days. That looks so good. Everything's so red here. Wow. So many cute things. Chinese dresses. Cool outfits. So many clothes. This is nice. Got some pecking duck for 400 yen. This is like my favorite. Oh yeah. Mm. Dang, there's over 80 dishes here. So we ended up in an all-you-can-eat Chinese restaurant for only $25. Uh, that's all you can drink too, so that is awesome. And um, we are going to eat our hearts out right now. My favorite, Ebi Chili. Alright guys, so um, today was really fun. We went to Arima Onsen, Arima Hot Spring, uh, one of the most famous hot springs in all Japan. So, so it was really relaxing. And we had a huge Chinese dinner here in Kyoga Prefecture. And um, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm like almost dying here because I'm so stuffed. But I still got my chow mein here, my yakisoba. Can't wait to eat this up. But yeah, so um, I gotta go ahead and eat this. But stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. And once again, it's Odigo 47. Welcome to Travel 047 Prefecture. So stay up to date because we're vlogging every single day. And, uh, if you don't know Odo, it's a travel website that offers local and exclusive information on the so check the link in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the vlog. Bye!